water and weather weather is the condition of the air at a particular time based on how hot or cold dry or rainy and calm or windy a place is the heat of the sun causes winds to blow and also causes changes in the state of water changes in the condition of air and water around an area cause changes in weather sun's role the sun plays a major role in causing changes in weather condition the earth moves around the sun in its orbit this movement is called a revolution the earth is also tilted on its axis at an angle therefore the side of the earth facing the sun has longer and hotter days and thus has summer whereas the part of the earth facing away from the sun has cooler and shorter days and thus has winter the earth also spins on its axis this is called rotation revolution causes change in seasons whereas rotation causes day and night the heat of the sun also causes wind to blow when air gets heated up due to the sun it becomes lighter the warm air rises up cool air then comes down to take its place this movement is a where causes winds the sun also changes the states of water in nature and causes humidity and rain the amount of water present in the air is called humidity water vapor rises up and condenses on dust particles present in the air into tiny droplets of water as more and more water vapor is formed more and more water droplets come together to form clouds in clouds these tiny droplets of water combine to form bigger droplets of water when these bigger water droplets become too heavy to remain in the air or when clouds become saturated it rains in very cold areas where the air temperature falls below 0 degrees celsius water droplets fall as snow more about air air is all around us it is a mixture of several gases air also contains water vapor and dust our earth is surrounded by a blanket of air called the atmosphere we can feel air when it blows moving air is called wind a gentle wind is called a breeze and a strong air is called a gale very strong winds are called storms storms that occur along with thunder and lightning are called thunderstorms sea and land breeze the sun heats up land as well as water bodies on earth land heats up as well as cools down faster than water and this gives rise to sea breeze and land breeze especially in the coastal areas during the day land gets heated up which in turn heats the air above it the hot air rises up from the land and the cool air from the sea flows in to take its place this is known as sea breeze at night the reverse process takes place land cools down faster than the sea now the air above the sea is warmer than the air above the land the warm air rises above the sea and the cool air from the land rushes towards the sea this is known as land breeze more about water more than 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water evaporation water exists in nature as snow liquid water and water vapor the heat of the sun changes water into water vapor by a process called evaporation if we keep a bowl of water out in the sun the level of water in it goes down by evening this is because the heat of the sun has evaporated some water thus when the weather is very hot more water gets evaporated and water vapor content in the air increases this makes the weather humid condensation 
When we boil water in a pan and cover it with a lid, we find tiny droplets of water on the underside of the lid. These drops have been formed because water vapor has changed into water. This process is called condensation. Clouds are formed when water vapor condenses into tiny water droplets. Bigger water droplets fall as rain. On cold winter mornings, we see droplets of water on grass and leaves. This is called dew. These droplets are formed by the condensation of water vapor. Water cycle In nature, the processes of evaporation and condensation take place continuously. Water evaporates from lakes, rivers, oceans, and other water bodies. It then condenses and falls down as rain and snow. This forms the water cycle. Purification of water We should drink only clean water. Unclean water can make us fall ill. Water from taps can be dirty and impure. Thus, water used for drinking and cooking needs to be purified. Boiling is the simplest way to purify water. Boiling water for at least 10 minutes kills the germs present in it. Sedimentation and decantation is another way of purifying water. The process in which the insoluble impurities settle down is called sedimentation. The process in which the water is gently poured out after sedimentation is called decantation. Filtration is a better process than sedimentation and decantation. The process in which water is cleaned by passing it through a filter paper is called filtration. Chlorination is a process in which chlorine is added to kill germs in dirty water. Uses of water Water is very useful for us. We need water for drinking and cooking. We also need water for swimming, bathing, growing plants, washing etc. Water is used for obtaining energy such as electrical energy, hydroelectricity. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.